Hello everyone. Uh, this is definitely a different video. I'm sure if you've clicked on this video, you've probably have seen or at least heard about the whole Dream cheating fiasco. Uh, Dream got fourth place. I think it was fourth place. Speed uh, speed run for Minecraft uh, in one of the newer editions. His luck on his speed runs was so incredibly high that the moderators thought it was mathematically impossible, and they banned the run. And Dream hired a, pro a professional mathematician, basically saying, "No, it's not mathematically impossible. Uh, it's actually his odds are actually around one in ten million." Which, considering how many people play Minecraft and stream Minecraft and so on and so on, is not that improbable. Not to the point where the only possible uh, explanation is that he cheated. So, I made an app <laughs> that's gonna calculate, that's gonna simulate Enderpearl drops, and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to uh, get <laughs> Dream Luck 10 million times. It's gonna run 10 million times, uh, simulating Enderpearl drops at a rate of 4.7. And we will see if I get as lucky as Dream, just so you know what's going on. This is the record for the highest drop. This is uh, that we currently have. This is how many simulations have run. It'll update only every once every hundred thousand because if I update it, if I update it just like a live update every single time, it's gonna fucking lag my computer out. But yeah. So and then at the end I'm gonna come back and I will ex I'll fast forward the two. You don't have to wait ten million times. Uh, but we will, s I will explain a little bit about statistics and what I think people are getting wrong. All right, let's get, let's get some dream luck and let's get fucking lucky. Let's go. Here we go. I'll be back. And we're back. Uh, as you can see, 35 pearls was the highest we got. Now, okay. Just so we didn't get dream luck this time, guys. I'm sure if I ran it again, I would get dream luck, but we didn't get get dream luck. And okay, I'm gonna drop the act down. Uh, yeah. So first off, one big massive problem with this is that dreams odds, according you know, the odds of 7.5 trillion and the odds of 10 million, like this, like his mathematician said include both the odds of pearls and blaze rods also it says nine this is 99 it just doesn't update in the very last one don't worry about it it's not a big deal it just ran 10 million times and the odds that i calculate are just ender pearls so not only would i need to for his for the 10 million mark to be accurate not only would i need to get 42 pearls here I would need to get 42 pearls and then still be extremely lucky again to get the same number of blaze rods, right? So I'd have to get, basically I'd have to get, I, I think the blaze rods might have even been more lucky than the ender pearls. I, I can't remember which one was more lucky, but yeah. First off, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll talk about the math more in a second and whether I think it's one in 7.5 trillion, but one in 10 million is an extremely bogus number. I have ran this so many times off camera uh, I, I probably have a closer to a hundred somewhere between 100 and 200 million times have I have I ran the simulation and the highest value I can get to is 36 um, and keep in mind every single every time we we get higher the next increment is going to be even less likely uh, if you you know getting like two heads in a row and getting three heads in a row is a much more likely uh, increase than getting 100 heads in a row to getting 101 heads in a row, right? If that makes sense, uh, flipping a coin heads or tails. So each next number is even less likely. So even though it's like 35 out of 42, so we're seven off. And at first glance, it doesn't seem like it's that far off, but it's, ex but it's so mathematically far off. And again, I'm not even counting half the problem. This is literally just ender pearls. And no matter how many times I try to run, I try to get even close to, the, to his odds, I cannot do it within 10 million runs. And I've done it dozens of times, not dozens of times, but I've done it probably uh, between 100 and 200 million total, and I cannot get anywhere near his odds. Dream, like just math mathematically, 100% cheated. There, it is 99.9 .9 repeating percent chance that he, that, that he cheated. Or that, at the very least, that something that his odds that he was getting his drops were not accurate. 
Now, let me explain um, one or two things that I actually take issue. I have not read the whole report because I just finished my finals like a week ago and I'm fucking tired. But I did go through bits of it, the bits, specifically bits that I saw in his video that I wanted to talk about because I wanted to make sure I was understanding them correctly. And let me go to a few things where I think the mathematician, I think the mathematician is making a few assumptions uh, because he doesn't really know how maybe video games work or whatever. That's making him get these odds when it's really not how it works. The first biggest one is the mathematician claims that Enderpearl trades are n are not independent. I be because the last trade in any run is going to be an Enderpearl, therefore they're not independent. Therefore you are statistically get uh, statistically you will get above five percent Enderpearls, four point seven percent, five percent. I'm just gonna say five percent for simplicity sake. Five percent Enderpearls whenever you're uh, taking a sample. That's not how that works though. Uh, when you, whenever you do a run, it's true. First off, you might not even end on an ender pearl because maybe you just get really bad luck and you've ran, you've taken up too much time and you restart. But let's just say, let's just assume at the end of every run you get an ender pearl. You end on an ender pearl trade because then you have enough ender pearls and then you go over, right? Let's just assume that the last one's always 100% an ender pearl. The instant you actually then take into account another run, that correlation ends. Having one long run is the same as having two runs of half that size because the next trade will just continue like a like like if you looking at just looking at the one long run if it was actually made up of two smaller runs you couldn't see where the line is the line would probably be where an ender pearl is but instant you add more onto it then the first one's no longer uh the first one could have just been part of any run and you just keep going the only trade that's ever actually properly dependent on the other trades is the last one in the whole data set not the uh not the end of every run so the last one is more likely to be an ender pearl and i'm not gonna say it's 100 percent because maybe you get really bad luck and you stop whatever but it is more likely to be an ender pearl but that is only one out of the entire trade so maybe you know the goal is not to get 42 like dream did the goal is to get 41 because my thing is truly random every single time so that combined with um if i check my notes yeah, it's that combined with the fact that uh, it's, this is not even counting being lucky on two things at the same time. It's just an astronomically large fucking number. It is so big. And, and you know, Dream's response was really good because like, oh, he said the math was wrong. And then he said all these other things about the mod team. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe Dream didn't cheat. Maybe the mod team just messed up. And I don't know of all the other stuff about the mod team being uh, incoherent or getting their facts, you know, getting the facts of the exchange of, uh, of information and files and whatever wrong. That could all be true. I don't know if that's true or not, but just purely on the number, I think this one in 10 million is a completely bogus, uh, bogus answer. And, um, and there's just no, like, even with all that aside, mathematically, there's still just no way he could have pulled off these odds. They are insanely lucky. Even like even like and again, I'm I'm running at hundreds of million. I've ran it over a hundred million times. That is getting to the point where it's not just the few streamers who are. Oh, a lot of people are streaming the game, but just actually all players. Like like it's very, like everything that that the guy said about that the mathematician said about statistics is true. It's very complicated and it's messy and people can get different results. That's all true about statistics. But one, this is not the, the most complicated statistic problems there is. Uh, I've I have taken like a college statistics level class, um, which doesn't make me an expert. In fact, I would argue that the guy who made this probably is smarter than me, but I I just don't think he. But again, people can even uh, people who know a lot about statistics can get to different results, and I don't think he understands quite exactly how the speed running and specifically the game aspects work, which might have been where he got his numbers, where he got this such low value. But yeah, it's just it, the numbers are just insane. Uh, I know this is kind of like a random video to make. <laughs> I just make random stuff on my channel. But honestly, it's just crazy. Also, is just when they compare it to other odds, then according to what they said, the odds are of other streamers who are also very lucky, and, I, and of course, Dream's just blowing them out of the water. Um, he's getting at a rate of roughly like fifteen percent, I think it was. Which can, which, you know, at any given, like if you take a tiny sample, getting fifteen percent when the odds are five percent, 
is not impossible, but continuing that rate for for hundreds of, of trades is just insane. Uh, I know I, just, I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this video, but if you do and you're on the fence because the math one one person saying the math was one in seven point five trillion, the other person saying the math was one in ten million. I don't know if it is one point one in seven point five trillion, but just know it it is nowhere close to one in ten million. I that was a ridiculous low ridiculous low ball. And I, you know, I've gone back and forth. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos, people talking. I've looked at, I've gone, gone over the documents a little bit. And I, I just gotta say, uh, personally, I think he cheated. Um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, let me know what you think. Oh, and I'm not gonna put this on the App Store because it's the Android App Store because this is a tiny thing. It took me like an hour to go. It didn't really matter. But anyways, all right. Hope you guys are having a good uh, holiday season.